What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Classroom of the Elite Season 2, this time with Episode 8, uh, really making our way through the series now. Uh, this episode should be an absolute banger as we uh, had a really awesome premise uh, last time out, uh, quite a simple one with the test um, kind of questions coming from other classes uh, and we're going to be trying to answer those so it really depends on what class uh, kind of does the questions for uh, which other class. Um, again, hoping uh, Class C doesn't do the questions for Class uh, D but uh, the way things are going at the minute that probably is quite likely to happen. Uh, we went went absolutely ham last episode. Uh, we also got um, a little bit of Horikita and uh, what's her name, Kushida action. Um, I think it might have been the episode beforehand, but I think that's going to be coming back in today's episode from what I saw with the preview images, so uh, should be really interesting. Let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions though, and let's get right into it guys. One. Let's go. A silent wound lives within the heart. Virgil. No, <laughs> not gonna try. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the classroom that Kashida fucked up, isn't it? How the hell do you cause this much damage? Scary, really. We haven't actually seen her do anything in the show yet, which is uh. <laughs> and she just sounds so cute as well. But yeah, we haven't actually seen her do anything yet, except for the Ayana Koji boob touch thing. And that that was that was probably light on her kind of scale, I imagine. I guess she's lucky she's at the front of the class and no one saw her looking down at a scary ass face just then. Yeah, apologies about that cut guys. Um just started lagging for some reason, but yeah, I think Ashida again, quite lucky she's at the uh the front of the class. So she can hide her face a little bit. But this is uh, quite a simple for classroom of the elite, it's quite a simple kind of test this time around isn't it it's just again just questions on a piece of paper but it's obviously what's surrounding that and the classes surrounding that what makes it interesting but again much more simple premise than any other premise we've got so far i think which made it quite easily digestible last episode but yeah really excited to get another good look at kashida hopefully we might actually understand why she <laughs> done that crazy ass shit at her old uh our old school but definitely makes you worried for what she could do to students who aren't Ayana Koji. Of course, Ayana Koji's probably going to deal with her quite well, but the others, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Maybe we can kind of, maybe Ayana Koji can kind of think of a way of making her bypass everyone in the class and kind of go for Ryuin. Because she did say that she's going to target Ryuin after she's got rid of all these guys not for a while but um, there might be some way of kind of diverting her towards that maybe that would be quite handy oh of course of course I'm gonna get the fucking traitor to monitor both sessions hey cutie <laughs> No reaction from Ayana Koji. I like that pink haired girl. I haven't actually seen her before last episode, but I like her um, assertiveness. A chance to step up. Totally agree. It looks like that wasn't just a really good lesson for Horikita, but quite a good lesson for everyone else. The last test, wasn't it? Fitness is a big thing. 
just as important as your kind of mental health is your physical health i think people forget that nowadays because there is such a focus on your mental health they kind of go hand in hand not that did sound obvious from the way she uh she said that earlier <laughs> she needs to make sure he's up to scratch oh here's sakura who we haven't seen speak all season one of you guys did say she might be uh a part of the upcoming episodes so i look forward to that again she hasn't actually said a word all season i don't think Yeah, understandable. This is not good for him though, is it? People are starting to realise he's actually decent at things. I was getting pissed at cakes. I guess, yeah, I guess they would be a little bit scatty, the people from C Class, after what we saw last episode. How is it? I doubt he'll be do, doing much celebrating or much telling anyone that it's his birthday. Yeah, I guess that is the case, isn't it? We only really need to teach the same stuff to each of them oh. yeah that is an interesting point isn't it what what do they deem as questions? Like trick questions or do they just have to be like purely academic? Yeah. We just do normal questions then just get more ridiculous as it goes on and see where the line ends. Uh, that bitch will find him. Oh, so is every class getting questions from each class then? So everyone gets. Uh... Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I got that wrong. I think I thought last episode it was one class doing it for one class, but it might be that three classes are doing it for one class. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. He did narrow it down a lot last episode we went, didn't he? Or was that just like a text back to the number that called him? Hmm. We'll try and go back and have a look. I'm not like I understand Japanese. <laughs> but um was that was that a message back to I was that a message to Ayana Koji knowing that it was Ayana Koji or was that a message to the number that called him when Horikita was in trouble with him and he still doesn't and, and Ryuen doesn't know who he's texting that would make sense as to what he put from 
to Ayano. Is that Ayano Koji? It's it's not written in um kanji or hiragana, which makes me think that this is not directed to Ayano Koji, and this is yeah, it just says mastermind here. So yeah. I think that Ryuan doesn't know who he's messaging, but he knows who he's messaging is the person that helped Horikita. I think is what's going on here. I probably could have understood that just from the English subs, <laughs> but um, I'm a little bit slow. 802, and just want to make sure, of course, as well. Again, lots of uh, lots of little details become quite important in this show, don't they? It can help you figure out like what's. Uh, What's the next plan of action for an Koji, for example? Who are you? Took him that long to ask that? Maybe that's a sign that he's got a plan now. A plan to figure out exactly who the, uh, the mastermind is. Again, he did narrow it down a lot last episode, didn't he? I like this girl. Joe, you know this might be a good front for Ayana Koji, like a good, uh, like a fake girlfriend. Could be quite handy, actually. But yeah, I like her. Again, she's quite assertive, and yeah, I like her confidence. Piss off. <laughs> That's what you get from Horikita. Yeah. <laughs> She's cute looking as well. She's one of the more normal looking girls. Like, you know, the kind of sparkly ones like Kay and Horikita, for example, they've got the sparkly stuff and all that, but she looks quite normal, but I like that about her. So we would have all been fucked, do you say? So that's oh I, yeah that's why she's got a, a certain kind of a thing for Horikita hey Horikita understands she should understand the best again she's got the best knowledge of Kushida hasn't she Oh god. Mere rumours. Mm, I'm not sure she's going to go for that. Yeah, it depends what this. Oh. Okay, this might that's might entice her.
And she gets to choose. I mean, still it's in Horikiya's favour, I think. Yeah, that's true. Oh shit, her bro. Wow. But he remembers her as well? Okay. Amazing that she actually got a brother to do this. Not that he's doing much, but he's done something. Mathematics. That's my favourite subject at school. Interesting. Again, I, th I think this is in Horikita's favour still. But there's definitely an incentive for Kushida to do well in this, isn't there? Everyone's been catching on to the fucking <laughs> the voice recordings this season, haven't they? I think from this point on, you're never going to be able to get away with doing that. Well, they're still going to do it. Same. But yeah, I think uh, I think everyone's going to have that in the back of their mind during all these meetings now, aren't they? This motherfucker could be recording me on their phone. After after one time, it it gets a bit um, predictable. So do I. Yeah. Oh. It looks like she's going to say yes. Probably would be. She was a little bit of a prodigy. Okay. Uh. 
Interesting. I think everyone struggles with that a little bit, don't they? Again, not to the extent that she does. She does the, the complete opposite of how they want. Again, it makes sense. A lot of people like that in the real world. Makes this tall. A lot of hard work. Socially. Oh. Sounds like she's fucking brushing her teeth with razors. Fucking hell. I thought I could brush it so hard you're bleeding. But yeah, it looks like there's this certain kind of other side to her, which again just goes the complete astray from what she's wishing to do on her other side, on her social side. It's just like complete antisocial. My block! <laughs> look at her face. That's what I imagine the, uh, the Twitch fucking mods look like. That's nice though. She got a little bit of relief through the internet. Oh shit, so that was it. I wonder what all that says as well. Oh my god. Well, you would go nuts after this, wouldn't you? No, it's how her voice changed as well. <laughs> Fair play. Build everyone's secrets and that. Jesus. Hates you even more, and themselves. Fuck it now, and she's back to normal Kushida voice. Fucking hell! So that's how that happened. Oh yeah, a lot of responsibility. But yeah, I, yeah. I imagine I was gonna say she's been getting. She's one of the most popular people, so she's definitely got secrets already. Again, you could call her a monster, but I get I totally understand to be honest. Again, she, everyone everyone goes through this stuff, but not to this extent, of course. Especially in school. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that was crazy. I thought she'd done all that damage herself, but no, she actually caused every other student to do that damage to the fucking That's the chaos that's the chaos that information provides, isn't it? That lies provide. 
again totally understandable again a lot of people especially prodigies i imagine i was never a prodigy or anything or ever top class or anything i was always kind of a middling person a bit like iron koji but not on purpose um yeah you can imagine how you losing that would be horrible if you know what i'm saying all this attention just gone and you get used to the attention you get used to everyone relying on you and such so you would develop this kind of dark side especially if you know how shitty the people that dote on you and such are you know their dirty secrets like someone like he's cheating on his girlfriend for example and you're just like well look at you what why, why would i even care about what you think and then you spill the spill the chaos again totally understandable but again just just a bit extreme if you know what i'm saying <laughs> saying for kushida a little bit extreme but it's always going to be extreme when you're heralded as an extreme prodigy like the top one percent it's uh pretty genius uh writing in my opinion again for the anime especially because in the light novel i imagine there's so much more detail and writing that's been put into it they definitely got to give him props for actually portraying it really well over over this anime as well but yeah thank you guys for watching um again fucking awesome episode today again especially enjoyed that last uh last five ten minutes with kashida uh spilling the beans on what happened um before that it was just again just kind of uh setting out what what's going to be the events of this test and such and the pairs and just kind of revising uh not all too much in the terms of uh the kind of overall plot um except with the ryuin uh we also saw sakura again but she didn't speak again today which is a bit of a shame uh but yeah we got a text from ryuin i guess that was a, another big part but again especially this last 10 minutes were um absolutely brilliant weren't they learning about kashida's past again totally understandable especially in today's uh, day and age with social media and such um and uh, being kind of heralded as a as a prodigy as a genius um i imagine if uh, if all that attention and all that love and such just goes from all these people um she managed to find herself back in that place uh, by getting by making friends with all these people and kind of letting them trust her um and becoming like a kind of shining beacon for the class uh, but obviously uh, that didn't uh, didn't last too long either she made the mistake of putting uh, all her rantings online <laughs> i imagine that was uh it would have been a horrible moment re when you suddenly realize everyone in the class knows that you've spoke so much fucking shit about them um that she just destroyed them all uh was, again absolutely fucking brilliant uh let me know who you guys thought of this episode though down in the comment section uh leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions um hopefully the subs are a little better this episode um i did try and watch the episode somewhere else but um just kept lagging so i, I went back to where i did watch them originally they didn't seem too bad from what i uh what i heard in japanese but um again i don't fully speak japanese so don't really understand the best um again let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section though enjoy the rest of your day guys